throughout all of that storm coverage yesterday. You, Josh, Mike, Austin, doing your thing, giving us a step by step on what we can expect, what we're seeing, what we're looking at. What's that forecast going to look like today? Yeah, well, the next steps around here, hopefully the weather will cooperate with, right? Because you got a lot of stuff that's got to get done and put back together. We'd love to get the power back on for everybody. We don't need it to be in the middle and upper 90s with all that humidity and areas not have power or air conditioning. What I do see is still kind of warm and still kind of muggy, but not the same kind of warm and muggy that we put up with last week and the week before that, and really for much of August. I'd like to start seeing these overnight temperatures come down, and I think maybe as we head towards the weekend, we get the chance for that to happen if the air can dry out a little bit, and I think that's the real possibility. Some showers still to the south are going to try to lift north this morning and this afternoon, and I do think this afternoon we've got a pretty good shot to see at least some showers. In Tallahassee, it's 76 this morning. In Thomasville, it's 72. Not getting a report out of Valdosta. I see those dew point numbers lower and mid 70s. So yeah, we got lots of muggy out there still for us this morning and all around the region. We'll see those temperatures mostly between like 70 and 78. Blakely and Tifton are the cool spots at 70. Apalachicola is that warm spot at 78. We're at 74 in Perry, 73 in Quincy. Now it's not breezy out there this morning, and I don't think it's going to be breezy out there over the next couple of days. Any breeze that we do have, though, will be from the east or southeast, and that might be able to help to stir things up at least a little bit. I do see some fog out there. Areas like Perry, the visibility down around three miles. Now, Adelia, a tropical storm now, still giving a bunch of wind and rain to coastal areas of North Carolina and even Virginia. It's going to be heading out into the Atlantic over the next 24 hours. It should start to move offshore later this morning. So drier air from behind it should start to get pulled across more of the United States. We still have all this moisture to deal with, and I think it's going to wring some showers out of the clouds both today and tomorrow. Decent shots both days to get some of those scattered showers. As we head towards Saturday, if some of that drier air can finally make it here, maybe we do start to clear things up. And with a little bit of luck, that can mean the evenings and the overnights and the mornings a little bit more comfortable compared to what we've been putting up with for the past couple of months with all that summer heat and humidity. Now, Tropical Storm Adelia, still a tropical storm, winds at 60 miles per hour, should peel off the coast and end up near Bermuda over the weekend. Of course, Bermuda dealing with Hurricane Franklin as that moves right around the northern part of the island. We've got Tropical Storm Jose way out there. We've got that other piece of energy in between that's got a chance for some development, and then we've got that other piece of energy all the way across the Atlantic. So, so much going on in the tropics. None of it's going to be a part of our forecast. Even if that one way out east does develop into something, we've got plenty of time to watch and see, but none of it expected to impact our forecast. We're done with that at least for a while. On the Gulf today, winds are going to be out of the south and southwest, 5 to 15 seas, a couple of feet. That's about all. This morning, it's 70s and muggy. I think this afternoon, it's low 90s in the warm spots, upper 80s elsewhere. The rain chance is around 60%, so decent shots for some of those showers. Tonight into tomorrow, the showers fizzle, but I think they will be back tomorrow afternoon. And then after that, the weekend forecast, I'm hoping for some drying. Those top temperatures near 90, those morning temperatures near 70, pretty seasonable. Guys.